Hello and welcome to this new lesson. Today, I'll show you how you can connect the schematic for voltage regulator, programming header, and the red array. So, let's start by adding the elements that we want. Let's go here. We have an empty area here in the design. Let's start by adding the elements for the voltage regulator. Here we have a voltage regulator. This is it. We need uh, five capacitors. So let's go. Capacitor. We need a 4.7 capacitor and three 4.7 capacitor and 200. Okay. This is one, two, three. And we need two. 100 nanofarad capacitor another one here okay what we need next is a ground VUSB uh, plus 5 volts so let's start by adding the plus 5 volts here the okay this is okay the ground and the VUSP here double click on this item to change it to V capital USB now let's hide the very long name for the voltage regulator and connect these elements together get the wiring tool and start by connecting okay now connect these together then connect the ground here same for this area and for this capacitor for the VUSB and this item so last step will be this one here we connected the 5 volts we need another wire for a net label that's it this is our power supply area now let's add the net label here let's name it lead or blue lead that's it now we have the voltage regulator here let's move and add the next item which is the lead array or let's add the programming header go here and search for PCB headers here we have the programming header so let's add it but let's get it in another area let's say in this area now in order to connect this we need 5 volts let's rotate it we also need a ground now what we need next is three or four net labels but before adding the net labels let's add some wires another wire here and another wire to the ground that's it now let's add the net labels for this pin okay let's X mirror this now this one is for D12 this one is for D13 and this one is for reset 
this one is for D11. That's it. This is the programming kettle dual row. So now that we did this, the last thing that we need to do is after saving this is adding the resistor array. So let's add it a resistor array. There is one kilo and another one, which is uh, 680 ohm. We want the one kilo resistor array. Let's add it in this area. What we need to do is adding net labels. So let's add a few wires so that our net label will be okay. Now we need ground. Let's connect. Okay, no, we need five volts, not ground. Let's connect it here. We need uh, TX and RX net labels. So let's add net labels. We need one here, one here, and we need another one here, here, here. We won't connect anything here and here, so let's change the name of these. This one is called Reset. This one is called D1. This one is called D0. This one is called TX. This one is called RX. So that's it. This is our resistor array. The last thing that we need to add is the LED indicators. So in order to add LED indicators, we need a resistor array and four LEDs. So let's add them below here in this area. Let's add a resistor array, 680. After this, let's get four LEDs. So this is the LEDs and as you can see, we have blue, green, orange, and red. Let's start by dragging each of these to the right location. I'll add them above each other, but you will get the point. The last one is the red one. So now we have four LEDs. We can hide the name to make it Okay, let me see. Now we have four LEDs. These are the four LEDs with different colors. We need to connect them to the ground. So let's add a wiring. Then add a ground. That's it. And on the other end, we need to add net labels here, 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 and here. So let's rename this one to D13, this one to red RX, RX, and this one to green DX, this one. blue LED. That's it. This is our LED indicator array. Now we can make this shape look better by simply doing this. Go to the design uh, or project, place, drawing tools, and use this line to Separate these. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, this is a wrong one. Now, what we need to do now, let's add another line here. Okay, let's go to 
place drawing and add a line to this area then let's surround this area with another line Let's escape go back and you can do the same for this area and for this area you can also name each of these parts by clicking place then text string and click here double click and add at mega to name each part you can change the font type font size and move the text you can name each of these parts uh, this one is for bcb headers this one is for usb this is the at mega this is programming headers this is the resistor array this is the lid indicators and this is the voltage regulator now click save all that's it for this lesson if you have any question please ask in the q a board happy learning